Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and I've got a great message for you today. It's all about finishing strong, and more specifically, about pushing yourself to the extreme, to the very far limits of your potential, in order to finish this year with a bang. So let's get after it. So let's begin with a rule without an exception. You don't get extreme talent, extreme fame, or success without extreme actions. Nor do you get six-pack abs, well-disciplined kids, or become salesperson of the year. See, the number one reason why most people will never enjoy extreme results nor finish strong is because they're just not sufficiently motivated to engage in the extreme actions necessary in order to drive extreme results. So let's talk about it. See, in order to become a super productive human being, I'm talking about someone who plays a much bigger game, someone who breathes the rarefied air of greatness, and someone who operates at the very peak of their potential. You must live by these rules. Number one. You cannot have extreme productivity without taking extreme measures. And number two, extreme productivity can only begin with a zero tolerance for unproductive activity. Now, I'll suggest to you that there's a direct correlation between high income, high performance, and high standards, and low tolerance for anything that is interfering with your productivity. I'm talking about something that you're doing to yourself or something that you're tolerating other people to do to you. So you've got to be very aware of what you're permitting to happen around you, with you, and what's getting in your way. And you must be willing to kill it before it kills your performance and your subsequent results. Here's a question I want you to consider. If you aren't willing to defend your productivity aggressively, if and when necessary, then what exactly are you willing to defend? Remember, you get out of life what you're willing to tolerate. And that is why you must have a zero tolerance policy for unproductive behavior, because what you put up with, you end up with. So let me give you a game plan for driving extreme results. So you've been conditioned since birth to think and act sequentially, as in step one, step two, step three, A then B, walk before you run, first grade, second grade, third grade, double, triple, blue badge before you get red badge, you know it, it's what you've been sold your entire life. And if you're trying to get extreme results through sequential thinking and acting, I promise you this, You're in for a lifetime of struggle, disappointment, and marginal gain. See, high performers just flat out think and act differently. Do they believe in advancing rapidly from one place, one position, or situation to another without progressing through all or any of the places or stages in between? I'm talking about a leapfrog from worst to first, from poverty to prosperity, from small to large quickly, not sequentially. And this type of thinking and acting allows them to create extreme results by leveraging the knowledge, the experiences, the successes and failures of others without having to pay the price themselves. It allows them to rapidly advance without going through the intermediary steps. Now, don't you want a piece of that action? See, extreme performers think and play the game of multiplication, as in growing by multiples, while most people are simply focused on playing addition and subtraction. They settle for crumbs, while the extremists, well, they have all the fun. So let's talk about acting with urgency. So everybody understands the importance of deadlines and that they perform more and better when there's a heightened sense of urgency. And how you treat deadlines and your ability to act with urgency speaks volumes about you, about your belief system, about your reputation, and your results in your future. And a huge factor resulting in underperformance has to do with missed deadlines, with deadlines which are never set, along with non-enforcement of stiff behavior-changing consequences. Now, I've always been amused at professional football and two-minute drill. These guys haven't been able to move the ball down the field for the past two hours. And then, all of a sudden, as if by magic, with the clock counting down, do they finally act as if every play and every second counted. The fact is this. It all counted. It counted the moment the game began. But now that it's down to the wire, do we see extreme, aggressive, relentless action finally taking place? How come nobody plays the two-minute drill every two minutes of their life? Well, extremists do. And if you want extreme results in the fourth quarter, if you want a guaranteed way to finish the year strong, and you have to behave in a manner that demonstrates that every move is important and that every second counts, remember, you cannot have extreme productivity without taking extreme measures. And extreme productivity can only begin with a zero tolerance for unproductive activity. 
And it would be my honor to show you the extreme performance acceleration strategies and the belief systems. I'm talking about the, the, the mindset, the tool set, and the skill set, the things that we use to help our clients to crush their fourth quarter goals and finish the year strong. The first thing you need to do and the only thing you need to do is to head on over to the 100 Day Challenge at 100daychallenge.com and make it the very next thing you do.